Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So today we are talking about a brand new product from a company that has been featured on this channel quite a few times recently. It's Camus with their latest wheelbase offering, the C12. I'm Jesse, this is Bartman's Bits. Let's finally take a look at a product that hasn't been released. A first for this channel and hopefully the start of many, many more. Now we can't talk about the C12 without first discussing where it came from, the C5. This little pancake wheel blew my mind with how much force it was able to generate from such a small package. It is the perfect desk mounted compact setup, but despite its novel design and budget price, there were a handful of flaws that really highlighted Camus's infancy in the SIM hardware space. It's that, that right there. And this, well, let me tell you, They've grown up. First up, let's go over those specs. 12 Newton meters of torque, an assortment of push buttons, knobs, and joysticks, an LED display, there is a rev indicator, and new for Camus, RGB all around. On the back, there is the power connection for the 24 volt, 350 watt power brick, a new fan connector, 12 volt instead of the C5's 24 volt, the typical USB-B for connection to your PC, only PC there, so sorry Xbox and PlayStation users. And two USB-C connections for peripherals like a shifter, handbrake, or pedals. Now, the C12 is releasing for pre-orders when this video drops. So if you're watching this and you get to the end and you like what you see, then it should be available to order on their website. Camus is looking for $49 to reserve a C12, then an additional $500 at the time of shipping. So that brings the total up to $549, not their cheapest wheel available. But as you will see, it's packed with plenty of features. Now that that's out of the way, let's get to how it looks and how it feels driving. The material used to wrap the wheel is leather. I use quotes there because I'm not a leather expert and I can't tell if it's real or fake. Well, it feels good and it's comparable to other brands leather material. There is stitching on the inner side and it's got the yellow strip on top for returning to center. The diameter is bigger than the C5 by quite a bit and only slightly smaller than the 15 Newton meter wheelbase that Camus offers. The paddle shifters have grown. These tiny things on the C5 have graduated into full fledged usable flappy paddles. They are crisp and fidget level clicky. Unlike their bigger cousin on the 15 newton meter base, these are not adjustable. I found their position to be well placed, so for me, no adjustment needed. The return is magnetic and on par with the much higher price offerings from some other brands. New for the C12 is a removable wheel. That is a huge upgrade from the very much not removable wheel on the C5. As you can see here, I am swapping with a larger Camus wheel and you can also see here that I can't swap it out for this drift wheel. Not all wheels are compatible, so make sure you do some measuring before purchasing a new circle. Moving on to buttons. It is starting to sound like an obsession of mine, but seriously, the quality of buttons that a company chooses to put on their product is a direct reflection of how much they care about the user experience. Bruh. Mushy buttons will do the job just as well as anything else, but a solid feeling clicky button will give you the perception of quality and enhance your experience. Just stay with me here. You know, you know what? Let me show you. Okay. This right here, wait, let me get it in focus here. All right, this is a rotary encoder, like the ones found on most wheels. This thing right here is around a dollar and it feels like it, it does the job but it's got some grit and it feels cheap. The ones on the C12 are satisfyingly good. This is the first time since testing out the $300 Fanatec formula wheel that I actually noticed the quality of the buttons and knobs. Well done, Camus. This is a huge leap forward. And let me just add some more on that real quick. Camus has stepped up their game in all aspects of their products, from the software to the box it comes in. I mean, like, Look at this. This is the box. This is a very professional looking box compared to what they had before. It's those little things that are making Camus become a more formidable brand in this market space. If they keep up this attention to their user experience, you might be seeing Camus standing next to the big games like Moza or Fanatec, maybe even standing above them. 
let's keep going. The joystick is an incredibly welcome addition to the Camus line, and I hope they never get rid of it. This particular joystick seems robust and metallic, yet fragile at the same time. It feels sturdy though, and the movement is pretty smooth. The only issue I have with it is the open design, which may be a magnet for dust and debris. I would blow that out pretty regularly. There's an LED screen up on the top of the wheel that shows speed or gear selection. Personally, I don't really use screens on wheels, but for some, this is a necessary element. I can say that it is bright, clear, and quite large. You can change the display to be speed or the gear number, and you can also adjust the brightness using a slider in the app. Right above that, there is a rev indicator, and this is customizable in the software. You can change the color of how the LEDs progress. So for example, you can set it to start at green, get yellow in the middle, and then red at the rev limit with blinking at the shift point. Or maybe you want it all red throughout the entire range. This is a nice feature, and it is just one of the ways that you can make this wheel exactly how you want it. Next up is one of my least favorite things to talk about when I'm reviewing a product, and that is RGB, because everything is better with RGB, right? Right? No, absolutely not. The fact that the buttons have customizable RGB isn't a bad thing, but it also isn't necessary for a wheel. If they offered a slight discount to get a non-RGB version, I would jump on that immediately. There's not a whole lot to talk about with this other than you can change the color of the buttons if that's your thing. So if it is, cool. Moving on. So how does it feel? To be honest, 12 Newton meters might be more than what the average user might need. It's enough to throw you around a bit in a rally and punish you for screwing up. I use this back to back with the Fanatec CSL DD with the eight Newton meter power brick and without a doubt, the C12 wins. The increase in power isn't the only factor here. Bumps, ruts, curbs, and different surfaces are all translated accurately to my hands, allowing for some pretty quick lap times. You can honestly dial this into your exact preference if you take enough time going through the sliders in the app. Speaking of which, the Camus app provides an ample amount of parameters to tweak, as well as a page for testing buttons, customizing RGB, and the display, and a page for firmware updates. During my first review of a Camus wheelbase, I tried the app and it would crash randomly and certain features didn't work. Now it is rock solid and everything works as advertised. Simple layout and easy to understand. Like I said before, Camus is growing up and the maturing of the software shows it. Now, here are five things that I like about the C12. Number one, it's extremely compact. If you're using this at your desk, it is easy to tear down and stow. Number two, the force that this provides is outstanding. More than enough for the average driver and so much that I was running it at 60% for most games. Number three, the joystick with built-in mouse emulation is a great feature and one that I am missing on some of my more expensive Fanatec wheels. Number four, the LEDs for the rev indicator are adjustable using presets, but you can also individually assign the colors to whatever you fancy. And number five, the app is a pleasure to use and has so many sliders that it's almost confusing. And that's a really good thing. That brings me to five bad things about this wheel. Number one, the paddle shifters have a tendency to not register. The right one has stopped working after just a few days of use. This also happened on their bigger wheelbase. And after reaching out to support, I was instructed to make some adjustments to get it to start working. I haven't made those adjustments, so I can't confirm that that is the solution. I also haven't tried it on the C12. Number two, the top knobs are cool to have and can be really handy to use while driving, but I found my meaty hands would get caught in the gap, leading to some uncomfortable situations. Number three, this little knobby here prevents me from using third-party wheels that don't have a big ol' hole in the center. Even the one that has a hole doesn't fit because the geometry of the spokes. Now, adapters can be used to make some of these wheels work. Camus says third-party wheels are compatible, but that clearly needs a caveat. Number four, the mount need to clamp this to a desk isn't included and will cost you an additional $30. At this price point, this should be included, especially since the fan that cools this mounts to that mount. And finally, number five, the gear indicator is a great feature, but for some reason, they couldn't make it say R. Three, two, one, zero, then negative one. 
Now that I think of it, N should be there too. Let's move on to the final thoughts. Camus seems to have taken input from its user base and made some critical upgrades to the C12, which shows their dedication to improving. This is refreshing to see in a space where companies seem to release the exact same cookie cutter products with slightly different names. <coughs> in a sec. <clears throat> Sorry. This wheelbase sits in a category that isn't oversaturated by other manufacturers, and that makes it more of an attractive option. The 12 newton meters of torque put it at the professional level, but the price keeps it just above the budget threshold. The option to swap with the wheels is a welcome addition, even though there are limitations on which wheels will fit. As I showed, simply adding some washers will allow for the Fanatec wheels like this one to be fitted. Camus has upgraded their buttons, added more of them, and threw in some RGB for the fun of it. This is a really enticing package now. With that $500 price tag, Camus has to make a pretty high quality product. And honestly, I think they delivered. That is gonna do it for this video. If the C12 looks like something you might wanna pick up, head down to the description and click on the link. If you use the code down there, you can get 5% off of your order. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.